the north of Milan is full of sky rises. There's very little space for parks here. So instead of parks being flat, two-dimensional, they are three-dimensional. Let me show you. The place I'm going to is very close to the central station of Milan, so that is where I stopped. And it's nearly too impossible not to comment on this grandiose space before I move on. I mean, just look at it. The station was opened in 1931 and it was supposed to represent the power and dominance of Mussolini's fascist regime, so no expense was spared. The building inside and out has wind horses and bulls and lions and a great mixture of architectures including Liberty and Art Deco. If you have the eye for detail, you could spend literally hours in here looking up with your mouth wide open. With 24 platforms and 330,000 passengers a day. It is one of the largest stations in Europe and the second largest in Italy after the central station in Rome. And it is beautiful from the inside and outside, mirroring the central qualities of Milan as the center of fashion and commerce. But it was the military that really drew my eye once I got outside. As well as this huge apple that either reminds me of the Macintosh or the big apple in New York. Hmm, what do you think? Right, which way is it now? Hmm, I think it is just straight ahead. Let's keep moving. Everything looks very modern in this part of the city, but every now and then you spot a gem like this one. It is only a short walk away and 15 minutes later I am nearly at my destination. Suddenly I don't feel like I'm in Kansas anymore. It feels like I'm on a different planet. Everything's made of glass. It's probably levitating. I'm heading to that building over there. It's one big curve, so I want to see if it makes a good lens and how many things it has melted. I'm talking about that great mirrored building, and I am of course referring to the famous walkie-talkie in London that in 2013 melted a Jaguar parked outside. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that story out. In the meantime, I was super impressed by the beautiful meadow flowers that grow right in front of the big skyscrapers. The contrast is really bizarre, but very beautiful. And the flowering apple trees were also gorgeous. They cast a perfume to the whole area, and it looks good and smells good to walk around here. I was surprised not to see more people just sitting around. But anyway, I've reached that big glass building, and what is it? It is a 231 meters tall Unicredit Tower. It is the highest skyscraper in Italy, and it stands in the middle of Piazza Gaia Lenzi, which, together with the other skyscrapers you've already seen, forms the most modern neighborhood of Milan. It is a result of the regeneration of the neighborhoods of Garibaldi, Isola and Veresina, inaugurated very recently, in December of 2012. And the Piazza Gaia Olenzi is a dedication to the female architect of Gaia Olenzi. It's actually possible to climb to the top of the tower to get a fantastic view of Milan below, but I didn't know that at the time I was there. Oh well, that's another reason to come back. And there are good reasons for that. The area is super cool and is teeming with nightclubs, bars, restaurants and comes alive at night. But now I'm off to my original destination, the vertical forest. That's that pair of towers that's covered by over 2,000 species of plants. But me being me, I get distracted on the way. Now, I'm a firm believer that sometimes you just need to send your wishes out into the universe and the universe will deliver. So this morning I've been really looking forward to just finding a nice place to chill and Voila! These winds! And there's no one here. So lucky! You know exactly what I'm going to do, right? 
and I kill two birds with one stone because I can swim and I can look at the vertical forest. I think I'm gonna take that one so I can look at the great green building across from me. Alright, let's see if I can do it with one hand. What a great way to spend the morning. But let me tell you about those towers. In Italian, they're called Bosco Verticale, and they are 111 meters tall and 78 meters tall. That's 8,900 square meters of terraces that holds more than 900 trees. And I mean real trees, not just bushes and flowers. It's actual trees growing up there. Trees, I tell you. The condos on the top floors cost up to 18,000 euros per square meter. I'll leave you to think about that. In the meantime, travel more. It's good for the soul.